Hello, it's Cameron here from Quitchat Films, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do how I did my snowman and animation thing in my Christmas video. It's basically it's all done in Surf Moon Plus X6, and it'll be like a keyframe animation that kind of looks 3D-ish. So yeah, here we go. Um, you start by right-clicking on Video Track and inserting a video group like that. In this video group, you can put video tracks and if we put an effect on the video group, it will put the effect on all the tracks inside the group. So right click on that video group and insert a video track. That will put a video track inside the group. Now, go into your media, library, quick shapes, and bring in a circle. Today we're just going to be doing a basic ball bouncing across the screen. And that will be 3D. So, got that in there. We'll just change the fill, I guess. Like red, done, and we'll go into transform of the, the transform properties of the ball. Transform, yeah, and it will then we'll drag in the corners to get a smaller. Maybe that's good. So put that slightly out of the screen, and we'll start animating. So to do this animation, we'll just zoom in. Click on the straight which is clicked on, and click show keyframes in the transform function. Show keyframes. So now this part here will come up where all your place your keyframes. And so let's get started with animating. To animate this ball, you'll need to place a new keyframe by clicking on that keyframe timeline. And it'll add one of these dots. Now drag the ball down or whatever you're animating. And it'll fill in all of the slots in between for that smooth animation. Now we'll add another keyframe. Yep, and drag it up so it goes to the load. Add another keyframe. Yep, drag it down. Add a keyframe. And drag it up. And now we have our ball animation. Boom, boom, boom. Speed it up by hitting Control, holding down Control, and dragging in the end of the clip. It'll speed up the animation. Boom, boom. And that's the basic animation we're going to be using. To just show how you can have multiple uh, animations and still have it all looking 3D and stuff, have multiple shapes. So, uh, I'll just show this. You click on your video track. Uh, that's it. Control C, Control V, and that will duplicate the video track. There we go. And now you, if you drag out this, uh, if you click on it, uh, it's low clips, so just click on the video track and drag it out. You see that there's two balls. And if you play it, two balls will bounce across the screen. Um, a way to demonstrate this is if I put that back and drag the clip so it's timed differently. If I play it, it's about the different times across the screen. A bit closer. So this is what we're going to be using and we're going to make this 3D to give full effect for after. So yeah, we've got the animation, now we just need 3Ds. 3Dness. Okay, to do this, you want to click on the video group. You want to, yeah, there we go. Add an effect and add a filter effect. It will put this orange gradient. That effect will put this orange gradient around the ball. And, uh, yeah. So that's not what we want though, so we've got to edit effects and the filter effect. Untick in a glow, that'll get rid of the orange part. Add 3D effects, and now we can already see that it's made a slightly 3D. But it's not as it looks like a ball, does it? It looks like a button. So what we want to do is drag out this depth. But now it's kind of rounded and looks a bit better. Uh, you can also play around some of these options 3D pattern map, look up with that. Uh, that kind of looks cool. I like that. And the transparency. And yeah, 
sort of stuff. We don't might have a new event at the moment, we don't even need to do lighting. Get rid of it. Do you lighting, you can drag around. So that's how the 3D stuff works and click OK and you've got your animation. Done. Actually, done. That's how simple this is, all done in Surfing View Plus and kind of makes a cool bouncy ball thingy. I don't know why you'd want that, but you could use it for something in your videos. You could use this effect or animation way in any video. And the if you put the effect on the video, it kind of make the edges of it 3D. And yeah, so that's how you do this. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions, please make sure to put them in comments. Uh, I think I did all right in the tutorial. But yeah, if you have any problems with how I did it, uh, just please tell me and I'll be sure to reply. So I'll see you guys soon. Uh, make sure to like, comment, rate, but comment and subscribe <laughs> for uh, to see when my new videos come out and stuff uh, and yeah I'll see you later bye guys <laughs>